Hello again, my name's Troy. I'm introducing a different type of flute in this video. These are called uh, Kenna's, Q-U-E-N-A, South American uh, style instrument with that big hearty sound. You, they're, they're hollow, you can see right through them. So how you get the sound is you're angling that and blowing across this, this little U shape. I do teach, so if that seems a challenge, most people can get some sort of a sound, but then to refine it, you've really got to get that hole right and be able to angle that stream of air really precisely to get a really good strong sound, particularly in the second octave, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, this video in particular is introducing this style of flute. Uh, here's three different types that I've made. I'll start with the smallest one. So all the flutes have different colored binding on it. So I guess I, not I guess, I do when I, when I make the flutes, when it comes to putting the binding on, I'll sit and play the flute and just let, let the flute tell me what particular uh, medicine it wants on it, what color because of whoever ends up buying that flute will, will, be, will receive healing, color healing from that. Uh, and also I've just started putting these, these little leather binds and some medicine on the bottom. So anyway, that's, that's a little F sharp minor flute. I'll give you a So again, this is, uh, it's actually shakuhachi tuning. There's four holes. I took the back hole out of these flutes because literally you take the back hole out and you get the same note as your, your first note of your second octave. So that higher octave starts uh, by overblowing. With these flutes you get a second octave, which is, um, I, I quite like that. Um, so that's about it. For this, that's the smallest type of these flutes. So it's a very South American sound, uh, but it's actually tuned the same as the shakuhachi from Japan, which also has the same tuning as the Native American, North American flutes. So it's just really interesting with the overlap. So anyway, I've combined them with the South American sound in these flutes. So this is the next, I don't even know what pitch this is. I literally only just made this yesterday, but such a beautiful sound so I'm about to put the put the binding on and, and do the rest of it So there's a, a narrow window there and it's a, just a matter of finding the, the right one because uh, I'm playing with the, at the moment, playing with the size of this, the sound hole. And uh, I've learned that the smaller you make this, the better, the better the higher octave plays. But it's like take some from the lower octave, the fullness, give it to the second octave. So there's a balance there and if you can find that balance um, when you're playing, you can have the, the great sound in both octaves. There you go. So that's a mid-range one. I'd say that'd be... Hang on. So 
that's a bit higher. So F sharp minor, this is probably a G, that one I just played for you. And this uh, big daddy here, this is a B flat minor. Um, it's a very deep flute, very heartful flute, this one. Really nice flute. I, um, I was going to keep this one myself, but I already have one in this exact same key that I have made. So this one is up for adoption. So uh, you'll notice with this one, uh, it's very big wide finger stretch. So I'm actually using the Piper's grip. So I'm on the second knuckle there. And up here, second knuckle, second knuckle, first. So that's your Piper's grip that you'll need to play a flute like this. So see how I'm adjusting to find the, find the sweet spot. Notice I'm getting some harmonics there. There's two octaves, but then on all of these flutes, and some more so than others, you can access harmonic range. four there. I think on uh, this one here I was getting like six. No, it was a different one. But you notice some of these have an extra hole up here, not just the four. And uh, so it's not the standard tuning. It's uh, also got this extra note just to give you another option. So yeah, you'll notice uh, you get a couple of extra notes there because of this extra hole. So I just put that in because it can be a bit, um, I don't know, just to give you some variety, some different things you can say there. So uh, I think I've played these enough. That's the South American Kenna mouthpiece with uh, four or five holes, uh, two octaves plus harmonics, and um, yeah, they've got different medicine on them. This one, this one's actually $80. I don't know why, but I'll have to review that one. It sounded pretty good. Uh, have a great day and uh, I'll see you soon.